All Saints Sunday, Year A, from the Book of Revelation. These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Amen. saints reminds us that just as there are those who will come after us, so also are there those who have gone before us, struggling and suffering and even dying for the faith which has been shared with us and which we in turn are called to share. These ancestors in the faith provide us with an example to follow, and they pray for us, proclaiming with us the greatness of the Lord continuing to exalt God's name, even we ourselves are too weary or too broken to pray for ourselves. But the revelation to John and Jesus himself assure us that the saints have met their reward, that their every tear has been wiped away, and that they suffer no more from hunger or from strife. And it isn't simply the case that at their every need has been met, but that their rewards are are matched to the specific virtues they practiced and the hardships they endured. Notice that that they're not given new robes, but rather the opportunity to wash their own robes in the blood, the suffering humanity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The very blood that Jesus shares with us is what allows all who have this hope in him, this hope of seeing God as God is, to purify themselves, just as Jesus is pure. The saints, and even we who are less than saintly, wash our robes in the blood of the Lamb when we accept God's forgiveness and embrace one another with the love Jesus showed in embracing us, experiencing along with us hunger and thirst and grief and poverty and persecution and strife and even the pain and shame of a criminal's death. By walking the way of life and death with us, Jesus blessed the ground on which we tread. Let us therefore join with the saints by looking upon him and being radiant. And let not our faces be ashamed. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord.